What's going on, everyone? It's my back again, and I'm I'm here with Chappies. Links in the description. How are we, bud? Mate, I'm buzzing, man. Uh, Leicester fan. Uh, I honestly, our club is just we're doing really well. Um, I, I don't care of the haters that uh, say we're going to bottle it. Blah 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 blah. Right now, living in in, in the now, not tomorrow. I, I'm absolutely buzzing. We're, we're just doing so well, and uh, what a great season. And that is including losing Jamie Vardy for a couple of weeks. We'll talk about that in a bit, but we're still buzzing at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be an interesting game with two teams that are flying high in confidence. Um, I think Leicester, to be fair to them, are probably going to want to have a bit of a go at Everton just because we we, yeah. we had a good we had a good game against you at, at, at your place. Um, yeah. Two on the bounce, gonna... isn't it? You put it beat us two on the bounce last year. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You do owe us one, but let's let's hope you don't. Right? Let's just for <laughs> my sake on the Everton channel. Let let's hope you don't. <laughs> um. I'm just going to talk about a couple of trivial things first, if I can. Obviously, Leicester yeah. have this astonishing record of mm. uh, of getting Chelsea managers sat. Ah, uh, yeah, Fat Frank in the mud. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Uh, dear, banter, oh, dear. Banter, banter aside, since 2015, uh, Leicester have beat Chelsea 2-1 and Chelsea got uh, sacked Mourinho. Uh, 2016, Leicester draw 1-1 with Chelsea and Hiddink leaves the club. 2019, Leicester draw 0-0 with Chelsea and Sari leaves the club. And in 2021, Leicester beat Chelsea 2-0 and Fat, Fran Fat Frank is on his way out of the club. I think there's a curse going on here, lads, don't you? <laughs> I did, well, it, speak, it speaks for let's, itself. Let's talk about it, Leicester-Everton. It's, uh, it's a game that I think both teams will believe, uh, rightly so, I was saying, both cases, that they can win. Um, yeah. Everton will go into the game confident, full of um, <laughs> full of belief that they'll, they'll beat a Leicester side, which is going to not have a Jamie Vardy in it. So that's a, mm -hmm. that's a plus for us. Yeah. Um, We've already beat you at your place. That again is a is a positive booster. But so are uh, Fulham and so's Aston Villa and so is bloody <laughs> the list yeah. is on and, at home. And we and we have the and we have exactly <laughs> the same issue. And that's my concern with this game. We've lost to Leeds at home. We've lost to West Ham at home. Yeah, we've yeah. Lo we lost to Manchester United. Although to be fair, you can't really argue with that these days. Um, it's a t it's a tough tough game for Everton. Um, we're not going to have Decore. We've got no Allen, so our midfield's going to look light. And no disrespect to Everton, but the Leicester midfield is probably better than Everton's, at least on paper, or at least creativity wise. Anyway, so you know Madison Tillemans. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't at the minute. You can't have a middle uh, without Madison and Tillemans. You've got to have them both at the moment. Uh, Madison's yeah. starting to create a lot of chances for Leicester, uh, and uh, he's getting goals as well. Yuri Tillemans, the same thing. Um, get, I think he got a goal against Brentford at the at the weekend as well. Uh, and then you've got Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes. Yeah. I, I mean, he's. I think he's got the most goals in open play over Jamie Vardy. Yeah. So. There's still goals to be to be had in this without Jamie Vardy. Uh, Perez is going to probably play up front. I've got a, a lineup actually for you that I made. Uh, I didn't make it. The chat made it. I do a prediction show every week. Well, every game, um, and, uh, and my subscribers get to pick the lineup. I thought it'd be a bit different because no one does it. So I thought oh, I'll, yeah, I'll create yeah. some gra so create some graphics and get my subscribers to make the lineup. So this is what they came up with. Um, you've got Perez up top, Barnes on the left, and O'Brien on the right. Madison in the middle with ND and Tierman's just sitting next to him just in front and Justin on the left Castagno on the right uh, Johnny Evans and Fafana the reason for that is because Siunchu still only just coming back from a proper injury and I don't think he will start uh, and Kasper Schmeichel in the sticks that's how mm -hmm. we see it Ricardo Pereira isn't going to start probably because he's only just had his first prop of 90 minutes against Brentford and I think he was subbed off actually as well uh, to be fair so yeah 
um, that's how we look at it at the minute. Working around players coming back from injury and working to our strengths. Again, very impressed with the graphics. Look, he's gone side on on this angle as well. You know, he's got the little camera in the bottom. I'll tell you what, it's very impressive, isn't it? This, this to the Everton fans here, this is where we and John need to get uh, to. Look, looking at that team and looking at your bench there, it's, uh, it's, yeah. it's well, it's a very good bench. I mean, Pereira, Under, uh, Soy and Chu. Um, yeah. I, I, I really like um, in, in, in Mendy as well in the middle there as yeah, well. Yeah, so, he's a great little player, to be fair. He's like a, a smaller version of Ndidi. That's the only thing. He's not got that height. But otherwise, he reminds he's me a, of Kante. Yeah, he's a very good player. Very yeah, good player. And, and I think those, those four players, um, you know, they would definitely be in and around the Everton team. Um, so, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I'd be all over those. Um, from Everton's perspective, I think Everton will set up with a very. I don't have all fancy graphics, by the way. So just get. Well, I've got the, I've I've got think the players Everton, in front of me. I've got the players in front of me. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I suspect it'll be Pickford in goal. I think it'll be left back, depending if he's back fit. It'll be Luca Dean. The middle will be Mina and Keane, depending on Coleman being fit. It'll either be Holgate or or Shane Coleman. Holgate, yeah, I can see Holgate yeah. playing. Yeah. Um, in the middle, it, that's where it's going to be. Interesting because we don't have Decore, we don't have Allen, but I suspect that Tom Davies and yeah, Decor- um, De- is it Decore? Is he going to be fit? Decore? No, he's got a red card, so he, he won't play. We well, got oh. yellow cards, five suspension. So, so, so is that why he could play the FA Cup, but not? I, I get, it. I, I see. Yeah, I see. yeah. So we've got Davies. I suspect Andre Gomez and Sigurdsson in the middle, and then it will probably be Richarlison, Dominic Calvert Lewin, and possibly Iwobi. You know, as the front three. Now that team. That midfield is not going to scare any Leicester City fan, I suspect. Well, uh, indeed, he seems to be uh, doing really well with his interceptions and uh, and he just nicks the ball, man. Um, he, indeed, he will take the ball from you. I'm making one slight change to my team because I obviously forgot that James Rodriguez is back fully fit and firing, so he would actually come in for a Wobe. So that, that makes our front three sound a little bit better, doesn't it, with Charlotte and Dominic Calvert? Yeah. And do, you, do, you got, do you guys rate, rate your number 10, your Sigerson? Because uh, every time I've seen him against Leicester, he's been absolute fire. I remember him uh, one one season at King Power. I think it was James Madison was approaching him from behind and he yeah, spins yeah. and turns him on 50 pence piece and slots it. Top bins against Casper's got no chance. I stood yeah. up and applauded it because it was such a good goal. I that's that's probably, I mean, from an Everton perspective, that's... Sigurdsson's, Sigurdsson is like a conundrum that you just don't, you don't fucking know. So, to put, <laughs> to, to put it in perspective, Gilfie Sigurdsson, last night against a, a championship Sheffield Wednesday side, played well, linked yeah. up really well, was looking for his passes, was trying to find the gaps for Ben Godfrey to run down the left-hand side, etc. It was it was a good performance from Sigurdsson. Yes. Yeah. But then you'll have games where Sigurdsson would rather stand there and point and get on the ball. So... I think for a lot of Everton fans, we're sort of on the fence with Gilfie Sigurdsson now um, because we just don't know what Sigurdsson turns up. You you can have a Sigurdsson that is a good Premier League player or you have a Sigurdsson who wouldn't grace the pitch at West Brom. And defensively, how, ah, do you think, yes. you, how do you think you'll cope with, with the Luca Dean Cross and the uh, you yeah, know, Richarlison, yeah. Calvert-Lewin headers? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you're bringing up a, an interesting topic because you probably already know this. You've probably done your homework, but Leicester are top in the Premier League for set pieces going in. Uh, with yes. Pith, I don't know what's gone on at the moment at the back. Uh, piss poor, maybe just the fact that we're missing uh, Suyuncu at one point, you know. Uh, and uh, I think maybe, maybe missing that big head of Harry Maguire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I don't know. Um, so it must be something, or maybe Brendan's got them practicing zonal defensive instead of man to man. But for some reason, we're still letting them in, even with sides like Brentford. They did the same thing to us uh, on the FA Cup game. They did the same thing. The first six minutes, cross comes in from a corner. We can't defend for shit, and somehow it's gone in. We can't defend at set pieces, so you've got to play the set pieces. You've got to get that ball in the box, in the air, and go for it that way. I think that's one way you might just maybe annihilate us at, is in the air mm. at set pieces. We had the same issue under Marco Silva a year ago, um, or mm. two years ago, 18 months ago. He, he couldn't defend corners. He couldn't defend crosses. And mm. what Everton, Everton, even at the 
start of this season. They couldn't do it. But what, what Carlo started doing is playing a, a flat back four where, you know, Holgate and Godfrey, Mina and Keane, they wouldn't push forward. They wouldn't do the overlapping ones that, you know, you guys see from people like Castagna, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Justin James, etc. Yeah, James then, Justin, we weren't, yeah. yeah, James Justin. So we weren't doing that. Um, we weren't doing that. So we were sitting back and allowing teams to not get behind us. They couldn't break us down. And we mm. didn't concede. We conceded two goals in seven games playing that back four. So if ever set up like that, it's going to have to be, for example, your creative players, which we know you've got. And, and I said exactly the same in the match preview when we played you at your place. It will be players like Madison and Tillemans who can shoot from 20 yards and we haven't got yeah. that midfield to go and get them. Um, mm. That's my worry and that's where I think you guys will have success. I think this game is going to be a really interesting, good game of football. Both level Ta- on the very, same very, Yeah, Yeah, very tactical. I think you're going to be playing it in mm. the air, set pieces, crosses coming in, the box. I think we're going to be playing it very fast, fluid across the floor, um, side to side uh, and uh, switching the play and cutting in and getting shots from the outside of the box. I think that's how it's going to work. 